Hi everyone, I'm back today with another recycling project. Today we're going to make an ant, which I thought would be fun for the summer. Um, you could use it as a decoration outside, um, inside, anywhere you want. Um, it's pretty simple. We're going to use um, the golf balls like we've used before and obviously use the old beat up ones. There's no need to use the really good ones. Don't go get your husband's good ones out of his bag. He won't be very happy. Um, you'll need some black spray paint and I used an outdoor spray paint. Um, we're also recycling um, a wire hanger. So we'll use that and then I just have some 20 gauge wire that I happen to have on hand that we'll be using as well. You'll need wire cutters, um, needle nose pliers. I have another um, plier just, just in case. And then um, you'll need a rotary tool or a drill. So, and some hot glue. And something to twist um, the 20 gauge wire around for his antenna. It could be a skewer, it could be a thin pen, it could be um, whatever you want. You could do it freehand. So, let's get started. Okay, to get started we need the three golf balls. And they can be any color you want. Um, they can be beat up, they can be marred. It makes no difference because we're going to be painting them black. So it really makes no difference. Um, you got your hot glue and all you have to do is glue them together. And it creates a really surprisingly strong bond on the golf balls. Um, the first time I did this I really didn't think it would hold, but it holds very, very well. So all we need to do is glue the first three together. Well, the only three together. Um, and let it cool. In the meantime, um, we'll set those aside to cool. And you're going to take your wire hanger. And what we're going to do with the wire hanger is you're going to want to make the legs for the ant. And to do that, you're just going to take your wire cutters. I, I just start at the end and snip a piece off. And I, I kind of just estimate it and then I'd say it's maybe two, two and a half inches. And then I use the one that I cut and just to measure the other ones so that way they're even. When I have my um, six legs cut, all I do is I bend it on each end. I do a little um, a little bend there so that it'll be, that's where his foot will stand, and maybe just a little bit of a bigger one on top, like that. And I do that for all six of the legs. Okay, in the meantime, the um, I have my legs done, and the, the golf balls are all stuck together. And what we're going to do is drill a hole. You need a really fine um, drill bit. And this one is actually smaller than um, the size of the hanger, but I couldn't find one just the right size, so I'll use this one and kind of make it, just go around it and make it a little bit bigger. Um, always wear your safety glasses. You never know what you're going to hit. Um, and be careful when you're doing it. Let me put this here. And what you're going to do is, what I had done on this one is I had put um, a leg in each of each of the body parts or body segments and I think what I'm gonna do this time is go for a different look and put the two two legs in the middle one maybe one forward one back and then one in the back and then this then would stay more as just the head um, either way um, I do like this one it, it's a very stable standing here so um, I like the way that that is too but I thought I'd give it a different try and see if it, if it looks any better that way so what you're going to do is um, you want to figure out roughly where the middle is on the back one. Put on your safety glasses and um, you're going to drill a hole. You won't be able to hear me when I start drilling. So drill a hole and because this is smaller than the, um, than the wire, um, I'll keep it in there and kind of move it around a little bit um, just to make the hole big enough for it just to stick through some. and that fits in fine. Um, it doesn't need to go in all the way. 
and you're going to want to do the same on the other side. Okay, I have the holes in the back. Now you're going to need to decide if you want to make it this way um, and have um, legs in e each of the body parts. And if you do, um, then all you want to do is center it on each body part, just like you did in the back. And just be a little aware of when you're doing it, you want to obviously have it line up with the hole that you made in the back one on each one. So, but I'm going to go for a different look this time. So I'm going to do um, the two legs in this one. So I'll, I'll kind of go more toward one side and more toward the other and kind of go in on an angle. And when you have all the holes in there, go ahead and stick your legs in there to see, um, see how they fit. Make sure you can get him um, to or her to stand. And if you happen to drill a hole in the wrong spot, um, you know, I wouldn't really sweat it. You can um, drill a new hole if you need to or just adjust the, the legs a little bit. And then when I have them the way that I want them, all I'm going to do is take a little bit of hot glue, which I've had um, heating up for a while, and I just put a little bit on the tip of it. Not too much because I don't want a lot of excess spilling out, and put it in there just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of hold. And now the next thing you would do is take your um, let me get this out of the way is take your 20 gauge wire, which is what I happen to have. You can use something a little thicker, a little thinner, um, and cut a length. And again, I never I never measure. Or hardly ever measure and um, I just kind of match it up with the one that I just cut snip it now I've got two two wires and we're gonna make the antenna let me put something white underneath so you can see it just a little bit better um, and I have a thin pen I think a skewer might work even better I just don't happen to have one handy um, paintbrush would work and you know just kind of spin it around a couple times and then you have this. Now this is a little too perfect looking to me. So what I do is I take the needle nose pliers and take the end. And then I just twist that inner part a little bit. And then it comes out a little more swirly. I don't know if you can see that. A little more swirly like that. And then I'll just do the same with the other one. And all I need to do now is I need to drill holes again. Um, um, just in the top of the head because that's the one that doesn't have any legs. When you have the holes drilled, then all you have to do is put the antenna in. See that that's where you want them to be. And then again, I take a little bit of hot glue. Put it on there because in this case, the, the holes are bigger than the wire that I have. So you put that in there and there's your ant. All you have to do is adjust it as you want it, then take it outside or wherever you might spray paint. Um, and I used an outdoor satin spray paint so that I can have it um, be outside as a decoration. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you gave it a try. Um, if you do, I would love for you to share your pictures on our Facebook page. Any questions you have, I'll answer them as best as I can. Um, please don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Happy crafting.